Welcome back, everybody. It's Captain Thief, Desktop Dungeons Rewind, again. Uh, I am perplexed because uh, it's actually the 12th, right, phone? Correct. Well, I'm not really doing dailies too much. I mean, they are fun. Uh, they are a great way to every, for everyone to do the same dungeon and stuff and, you know, kind of see how things happen. But at the same time, it's like, well, it's mostly for money. And I think I'm just going to get money okay on my own, I guess. So anyway, last time we unlocked Monk, but we, then we played Rogue because it just made sense to me. Um, not just yet. Let's let's actually play Monk, actually. Quest unlocked Stone Cold Crazy. The people of New Hex aren't the brightest. Establishing a fr fresh forward summit near an ancient, deadly swamp ruin is always going to be a bad idea. Of course, no financially minded hero is going to ignore their lucrative cries for help. Find and slay the terror and hex. Okay, so there's a, a new dungeon to be had. Somewhere. I kind of like the interactive map a bit better, but I, the uh, old one oh, will always have its charm. Okay, so this is the new, new dungeon I unlocked. And we gotta go beat Steno. That's fun. That's fun. But let's do something monkish. Uh, what was the monkish thing? Monks go north, don't they? No, that's for wizards. Then monks go east? Maybe. Western jungle is... Oh, wait, I should just click on the uh, flags for the quest. Of course, of course. Yes, it is monk in the deep freeze. All right, so... I, I really like monk. Monk is a pretty cool class. Uh, also, I should showcase dwarf because they made it a little bit better you just get max health for free or you know maxed out instead of just you know plus one per level or something uh, there might be something else in addition to that okay what do I want to bring well monks have admittedly low attack but at the same time the shield would also really help because they have a lot of physical resist um, can we showcase that how do we showcase that by hovering over it of course so yeah, less base damage per level, and they have a negative attack bonus to start off with. But, you know, you can fix that with items, maybe. Uh, diamond body, f plus 50% to starting physical resistance, and uh, you're, you can actually go higher than the 65% cap, so that's great. I think it goes all the way to 75%. And the big thing, the thing that defines Monk to me is uh, health regeneration rate is doubled. Um, I do think that Monk is one of those classes that everyone should play at least a couple of times uh, because it kind of teaches you how to region fight. I mean, for everybody, it seems like it's one of those things where you can either take them on or you can't. Uh, you don't, you know, on one go without, you know, regening. But Monk shows you, how oh, hey, you can totally do that. Um, again, as much as I like uh, the deities and stuff, uh, prepping them is just too too costly to me it's probably one of the things that uh, you know there, there's a penalty for prepping them and, and when you prep them it guarantees that they'll be in the dungeon actually right next to you so you can start off but there's a penalty for doing it and um, <laughs> yeah so damage taken will always incur a penalty that's pretty bad I mean that's pretty costly uh, Tarog, all the enemies would be cowardly. I was just talking to Nerim World about this, that, you know, maybe it's not so bad if you have, uh, something that has knockback. Mystera, I feel like, is actually balanced. You know, the, the piety gain is slowed by 25%. I mean, that's a cost, but it's not too much of a cost. And, uh, Gr Glowing Guardian, uh, you get a lot less piety. It's a, a he much heavier cost than this 25%. I ran a spreadsheet to figure it out, and there was, like, I don't know, like a... 70 per piety difference between somebody who prepped it and somebody who didn't. So that's pretty hef hefty. And Earth Mother, this one is a, a double-edged sword. You know, double the plants. Maybe you want to double the plants. Maybe you're in the Southern Swamp and you definitely don't want to double the plants. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, black Market or Bet on Boss. I, I still feel like getting money for the boss is great. I'm going to go black market because I want to get good items to make the monk awesome. And what kind of monk would I be if I didn't bring a sword? <laughs> okay, so now we have plus three attack. I'm not going to feel too much of the pain of being a monk. Um, but yes. 
All right, so. What's, okay, so this moves the camera, that's right. All right, I kind of like this. I kind of like the classic look. I like being able to see things. Fancy pamphlet, is this, is this the thing that's telling me that I can uh, rewind? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna convert it right out. Maybe it's a better idea to save that for in case I'm uh, with a, uh, a deity of some sort, then I can convert that. Okay, so we have, we don't have more health. You'd think that, you know, like a monk from the Final Fantasy uh, series, you'd have more health, but you, you kind of don't. I mean, I'm a dwarf. Eventually, we'll have more health, but yeah. So, I'm doing four damage. I could be doing better. All right, let's let's uh, let's see if we can't fight something. Gorgons are scary, because as soon as you're less than half health, um, they automatically kill you, and they have first strike. So, what we're going to do is we're going to showcase the region fight thing, because I heal... Well, we're, we're actually uh, healing and killing about the same rate, actually. Uh, I don't think this is going to go anywhere until I improve either my uh, regen rate or my damage rate. So, yeah, I, I, do, uh, I do four damage to her. She does four damage to me. It's just not going to work. Um, and the reason why is because he's level two. He's, he's got a regen of two. All right, so... I can make my damage even worse, but I can make my region even better. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to just pick up a couple, and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to smack you around, and then whenever we touch one of these, we get three, so that's great. We'll get three more, and there we go. And I do like the uh, thing that tells you when you're, like, just going to die. That's really appreciated. So if I could grab one more square, thankfully I left a one square, then we win. All right, so I don't want to say that was region fighting in a nutshell because I feel like there's there's more to it than that. Someone could have done that better. Um, if you want, though, if you want to know if you're going to win the region fight, assuming that there's no extra uh, calculations involved, like maybe you're trying to farm dodges or, or some re reason, like maybe you have poison. Uh, the easy way is just to take their regen rate times their damage and compare it to your damage times your regen rate. So I do four damage per hit. I regen three squares per square. So that's three times four or 12. And he is level two. So he has a two regen rate and he's doing nine damage per hit. Right, right. And so that's 18. So my 12 versus his 18. It's kind of obvious to see that we're not winning this one. Um, as a monk, you're... Uh, there we go. Cool. As a monk, your uh, main um, food, or, you know, your your uh, your easy prey, I guess, is uh, meat men. I feel like meat men are supposed to be the monks of... Okay, well, now we're doing better. All right, so let's... Yeah, meat men feel like they're supposed to be the monks, even though they don't have a faster regen rate. So we got 18 times 4, or 72, versus my 7 times... Uh, I need to figure this out. So 2 times 2 is 4, 5. So 5 times 7, 35. I am not out regen fighting this Gorgon. I believe I'm doing that right. So I prepped Black Market. We're getting more money per dollar out of the thing. Uh, again, this goblin's actually even worse, so, uh, we'll just keep on going, I think. Uh, who is this? It's Tarog. Okay. Okay. So, Tarog, the only thing you have to be worried about is don't, uh, use magic. Okay. Uh, we will do that. And I wanted to go with Tarog because the Tarog's blade is just pretty good. I mean, that's uh, five more damage. Go ahead and pick up his potion, why not? And he really likes it when you kill mages, so that's uh, that's some easy piety to get. So, we're beating up on level twos. Can we beat up level threes? And yes, the answer is most certainly we can. Now, it may be tempting to just, you know, right click as fast as you can, but we're not gonna do that because he's gonna win. Um, now we can. Alright. 
excellent. I can afford the skull picker. I will buy the skull picker. It's a little dangerous to uh, get down to one piety, though, so let's get two. In case I cast something back, so I don't know. It's a possibility. Okay, so, yeah, we, I took on that level. Uh, we're, we're doing 13 damage now per hit. And we have a regen rate of 5, so 13 times 5 is 65, versus 18 times 4, which is 72. So we're still losing to the Gorgon, unless I drink potions or something. Um, or if I can get poisoned, which is not really happening. So, I guess we'll just kill this level 3. Why not? And now we're level 3. And this just can't became a lot easier. Uh, we were losing because of the 50% uh, death gaze thing. So let's grab just one square. And there we go. Alright. Yeah, Tarog gives us a bonus, or er, gives us some piety to uh, spend every time we kill something. But he gives us even more if we happen to kill something magical. And man, we are just, you know, we're doing great because of that physical resistance. Now, monks are very uh, susceptible to curse because of that. All your physical resist just disappears. Dang it, I actually didn't want to do that. Then why did you do it, Cappy? Well, well, reasons. Okay, so this vampire has 56 out of 39 health, so he's, he's pretty healthy. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to hit him to get rid of that extra health that he just stole off of me. He can only do that once, once I unveil him, which is great until we f start finding vampires that warp into the darkness and then they keep drinking from you, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so we're level 4. Our regen rate is 4 times 2 plus 1 is 9. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of the bloody sigil soon, because it's okay for regen, and I, I like how it's making my regen fighting better, but... As a contribution to my regen rate, it's getting falling further and further behind. Um, yeah, I'll kill the vampire. Why not? Okay, and snakes or <laughs> yeah, serpents are also really bad for monks because how do you regen fight something when you're poisoned? Uh, Heads, you don't. So let's see, 125 versus my. Um, 9 times 19. Yeah, there, there's actually a lot of math involved. And that, on that note, they got a lot from Final Fantasy. Because in Final Fantasy XI, uh, Monk feels like it's the least um, mathematical class because you know, they have to do calculations and stuff. And yet they have delay and plus damage on their hand-to-hand. -hand. You have to figure out what your hand-to-hand -hand skill translates into plus damage because that's the only class that does that. It's just funny to me. Okay, anyway... Um, yeah, I'll kill Gorgon. Eventually. The trick is just to get right above a half percent, or half health, or whatever. And then you're good to go. Alright. Oh, hey, Burned Raz. I'll think about it. I'm still getting some good stuff out of this. I think I'll buy the shield, actually. And you don't even have to pick it up just yet. But, well, I did. So, now, in addition to... Uh, my 50% physical resist, I have damage reduction 5. So he's supposed to be doing 16 damage. It should be turning into 6? How does that calculate? Oh, okay. So, unfortunately, it doesn't work the way I thought it was. It would work. It, the damage reduction happens after the physical resist. If it were the other way around, he'd be doing like 3 damage per hit. Uh, but instead, it just takes off five, so it's eleven. Take half of that, and now he's doing six because it's round up. Um, oh well, it, it, it works. But man, imagine seventy-five percent uh, physical resist or any resist really, on top of like I don't know, ten ten damage reduction. Then that turns into forty damage reduction when you think about it. Okay, so what else am I thinking? I want to kill this snake and then level up so that way I'm not poisoned anymore. So we will do that. Uh, but first, I want to uncover 
more enemies, I think. If I can find the main boss, that'd be great. What's this? Get in there? Alright, uh, I'll see. Uh, money. I haven't found many shops that I, I particularly like, and one of the reasons for that is because a lot of the good items you actually have to unlock. You know, like the balanced dagger. Um, there's a sub dungeon with a, a troll. Can I talk to you? This is Pan Labyrinth. It exists between the worlds above and below. It's a place of both quiet contemplation and danger. Of peace broken by sudden violence. What does a mundane creature like you hope to gain here? Explore if you will, but take responsibility for your pain. Ominous. Okay. So, there's enemies here that, you know, do a lot, or, you know, steal a lot of health. But since he doesn't, uh, he only does three damage, and that's completely being absorbed by my shield, so, um,. I think we're pretty safe to do this. Okay, so these guys steal a lot of your health. So we are doing this at about the right time, I want to say. Uh, let's let's undo that, or do not look at him anymore. Okay, um, they don't give any experience either. So why am I doing this? Uh, that is a great question. I wonder what's down here. This is the hard part, or a hard part, about desktop dungeons, is you're doing a great run, maybe have everything going for you with the enemies up top, and then you find a sub-dungeon you don't recognize, and you just kind of hope that you don't get yourself killed. Okay, so, ironically, the reward this whole time was the, uh, the exploration I drank along the way. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything else down here, so I guess I'll just leave. Okay. Uh, was that wasted? I don't want to think it was. There, there are worse sub-dungeons that can get you killed, so, you know, I feel pretty good with myself. Uh, level 1 Serpent, I'll just make it go away. Okay, so now we have a level 8 Gorgon. We're still only level 4. She doesn't do that much damage to us. But, let's maybe try the level 6. Oh, the level 6 looks so much better. Okay, so we'll make him fairly weak. And then we'll just grab enough uh, health to make the serpent possible. Um, are you killing me? Well, he is, actually. Well, I'll tell you what. This because Tarog doesn't like it doesn't mean we can't do it, right? So let's go ahead and grab you. And then get in there. Yes, I, I did take a little bit of a piety hit for that. Where where does the log show up again? I remember you being somewhere, log. Escape? Escape. Okay. Yeah, minus two. It's 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 okay. It's not the worst thing. Uh go ahead and kill him. Why to do that? So now I could just kill the snake and not have to worry about poison ever again. Well, not never again, but maybe not for a while. Okay, we're level five. This is level eight. Do the math, Cappy. Uh, four hundred and sixteen versus, or so her her four hundred and sixteen versus my eleven times twenty-three. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, we're not winning that one. Now I thought like a level up catapult or something, which is not impossible. It's not impossible to beat mobs three levels higher than you. Um, get out of the way. I'll try to leave behind as many things as I can that aren't trouble, like goblins and gorgons for EXP popcorn later. Uh, it's funny because, you know, in the lore segment, uh, the Codex, I think it says that when it comes to Tarog, much to his chagrin, the biceps glyph, which is a glyph and still magic, and so he still hates it when you use it, uh, is associated with him for some reason. So, uh, 
It's not on here, but it's written somewhere. And I thought that was a funny little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. What else did I want? Why do you go for all the pieces, Gappy? Well, oh, I could get even more physical defense. I wanna, I wanna. Uh, I also want to recycle glyphs for the max health. Um, tell you what, I really want to find the boss before we make a commitment on glyphs. But I do feel like get in there is not the greatest thing ever, right now. Also, it might be time to recycle this. It'll give me more max health. I got ten out of that one just now. I'll think about it, alright? Let's just beat up a level 6. That, that always makes me feel better. Um, this is going to level me, isn't it? It is. And I've already spent my get in there. That's okay. Um, let's pick up the armor. Alright. Alright. He's doing way less damage to me because 65% guys. Um, I think that's all I want to do. Is that. Okay. 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 So we're level 6 now. You know, I've been doing the math wrong actually. It is not 52 times 8. It's the damage she's doing to me, ultimately. And what is that? That's 17. Okay, 17 times 8 is 136 Van Glaude. I don't know why I didn't notice it until now, now but uh, if you remember the comic VG Cats, he played FF11 for a bit and he drew a Gawka named I don't remember, but he looks exactly like this guy. It's funny. Funny. What's a Gawka, Cappy? It's from FF11. Don't, don't worry about it. It's what eventually became Rointrograms or whatever those things are in uh, 14. Uh, rows, as they call them. Um, so anyway, yeah. Uh, 136 versus my... Well, I, I, I'm doing 27. So 27 times... What am I? 6 times 2? 13. 13 times 27. Do that. Uh, I don't want to... It's 260 plus... 91. 351. So I'm definitely winning this fight. I was probably winning the earlier fight too, I was just too lazy to do the math. And also you need to be careful about the being less than half health thing, so we'll just pick that up. Lose a whole bunch of health to a vampire because of course we did. Um, are we... no. How about... no. Well yes, but I mean she'd be dead if it weren't for that vampire. So let's grab another one square. This is becoming a pattern. Let's grab another one square. And we are, you know, just gradually making her dwindle down. We're still at less than half health. That's the negative thing about having so much max health is that, you know, Gorgons can kill you at higher and higher healths instantly. Okay. So snake rattle and roll here I, I loved that game um, who is this we'll talk about snake rattle and roll in a sec I want to kill this level 8 goblin I didn't even do the math I'm I'm mean, you can probably do some like back of the napkin math or something and figure out oh yeah you're, you're just winning because his 62 times 8 is less than your 13 times 27 there, there's some math there. Uh, we'll just beat him into submission. I wish I could be spending some of this MP. I just hate losing it to uh, this other stuff. What am I going to do with this sword? I'm probably going to recycle it. That would be more max health, and then I'll have room for the last piece, the helm. Um, Okay, so you can only do these ones. I, I got it. Uh, but this you can do as many times. I don't know. My mind was just starting to wonder. I was like, what if I accidentally bought a second shield? But one, if I could do that, there would have been runs where I would have bought like five 
skull pickers. I'm not kidding because it's that good. So yeah, there, it's it's not possible. Uh, I can take on level seven now. I do kind of want to do that. I want to get rid of his health that he stole from me. Um, he doesn't have enough health for me to steal back or what I'm what I'm saying. And uh, wasn't there a level eight? Yes, actually, I'd prefer to take on the level eight. So one, two, three, four, five. I, oh wait, you can just count the little numbers down there. Okay, versus my one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm winning. I'm winning barely, but I'm winning. Now, if I ran over and picked up a square, it would not give me any health back. That's that's the that's the thing here. But hey, I leveled up. I'm no longer poisoned. Hurry for me. And uh, I'm level seven, so it doesn't really make sense to kill a vampire that's also level seven. Hey, zombies! All right. I like how uh, Count Blah Blah. I don't know where I got my accent from, or what I can do to get rid of it. Oh well. Regards, Count Blah Blah. Freelance Trek tre 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 Nominee. <laughs> yes. All right. So we got the boss is always tough, guys. He's level 10, 75 damage, uh, wait, not 75 damage, because he's only doing 25 to me, thanks to my Fizz Resist of a whole bunch, a whole heck of a lot, and also he retaliates on Fireball, so Burned Raz wouldn't help me that much anyway. So, he's got a whole 750 region fighting uh, force to me, RFF we'll call it, versus my... 14 plus 1, 15 times 30. What is that? 450. So we're not we're not at count blah blah range, but here's the thing. Your region fighting only works when you can region. And that's a problem because well, eventually we run out. So we want to be careful with this. Also, he took some of my max health. I'm going to just smack him to get rid of that stuff so that way I don't have to worry about it later. Maybe that's not the best use of resources. I think it's the perfect use of resources. Um, man, I'm just so strong against even leveled opponents. Uh, sure. So, here's what I want to do. I don't want to uncover a whole bunch of darkness just to... Uh, waste it because <laughs> we're going to be fighting with it let's try and kill things so that way we're using the uh, darkness to our full advantage we're going to have to guess as to where the high level enemies are though unfortunately okay that's not going to level us or is it no it's not okay all right um anything special happen when you buy the last piece uh well it's going to increase my damage I like how it just increased your damage, period. You don't have to pick it up. It's got magic resist on it. Um, that's great. The main thing we want, though, is Unstoppable Fury. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't help monks nearly as much because we're doing half damage hits, kind of. I mean, when you think about it, we're level 7, we're doing 30 damage guys. It's not a whole lot. I think I'll recycle the Bloody Sigil. We'll keep the sword for as long as we can. We need as much base damage increase as we can get. Uh, so let's just move forward. What's this store? Oh yeah, this. Well, I could buy it and then uh, recycle it. It's not letting me do that because I'm full of uh, inventory. But we'll, we'll talk about that. All right, so let's look for higher level enemies. Oh, level 7 snake. All right. Uh, that would actually level me. I want to find, like, the level 9. Oh, hey. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, a glyph. Wait, what? I love wait, what? And wait, what loves me? Alright, well, here's the thing. We're allowed to drink potions. We have, like, a lot of max HP. The way potions work, or health potions, is that they heal 40% of your health. And the more health we have, the more that they will do. So, I think when we recycle stuff, like, wait, what? 
we're going to get like a lot of max HP. So it's not just, you know, one round with uh, count blah blah and try to win and try to region fight. We're also going to be drinking. But also we're going to be level up catapulting. So let's just go ahead and recycle pretty much every glyph. Let's recycle burned raz. I don't really want to use that, to be honest. It's a great glyph, don't get me wrong. And I don't really feel like using biceps either. And this is 45. Gets me to 70. That's that's cool. That's cool. Why wouldn't that be cool? Let's just get like as much max HP as we can. Um, goodbye, bloody sigil. Thanks for helping. Um, oh wow, this plus MP thing is. Oh, where did it go? Okay, so we're up to 151. So every drink we do is going to give us 60 HP. That's like that's a good uh, hit and a half from uh, old Count Blah Blah here. So uh, before we do that, though. I hate you. See, that's the bad thing, though, is that the more max HP we have, the more they steal from their life steal. I think we'll just kill him at level 8. I think we can pull that off. I think it's the ultimate. Oh, Endus Wall. I will hang on to that. There's There should be a secret sub-dungeon somewhere in here. Wait, and I get physical resist from it. Well, hang on. Piety is for spending, gentlemen. Alright, so... What am I doing? I am ending some walls, losing some piety, losing sobriety. This looks like a fairly even fight, to be honest. Okay, so what was I going to do to level up catapults? Yeah, I should probably have a plan for such a thing. Um, hang on. Let's just grab one. And now we're winning. Okay. It was it was always the serpent, guys. I just didn't think it through. Okay. I think we're winning. That said, we're going to end this wall as much as we can. Uh, actually, we don't get that much end this wall action, so you know, this is fine. Uh, Captain, count the hits. And then we win. Alright, so... There we go. That's kind of Monk in a nutshell. Except, you know, maybe it was a bit more advanced. That's how you regen fight. I mean, I could have regen fought more, especially against the boss. Let me guess. Vampire. How did I know? Oh, wait, it's a goblin. This is the vampire. Alright. Alright. Um, let's keep breaking walls. And then we'll uncover walls, and then we'll break more walls, and then we'll uncover walls. I don't think it's like a rule that there has to be a secret sub-dungeon in every single thing. Hang on, let's kill the vampire. Oh yeah. Uh, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good rule of thumb, usually. Okay, I thought you were a vampire. Uh this one? No, it has to be this one. Okay. I think there's a way to kind of tell if there is one. It has like a different kind of ledging. I don't know. Hang on. So we got 75 physical resist yet. It's maximumed at 75. That's fine. It's great. That's cool. I want to find the secret sub dungeon. Are the secret sub dungeons worth it? I think they are. Okay. Um. We'll just uh, break this one. Get behind there. I not seeing anything. Let's. Uh, it goes against what I was just saying, but you know, let's break that one too. Is there another level nine? That I was. No, I, I must have killed it already. Okay. We'll break this one. Okay. So so far, nothing behind here. And that was probably a waste. I don't think so much, but, uh, well, of course, Captain, we know you don't think so much. Hey, be nice. Oh, yeah, fine sword. That would have been a fine purchase, actually. All right. Um, I didn't need the health potions. Like I said, it's, there's not always a secret sub-dungeon. It's just, like, 
very commonly that there is. Very, very commonly. And let's go here. Okay. I'm starting to think we're not going to find one. Well, all right then. Um, I'll mana burn myself. Wouldn't Talrog like it if he got mana burned? Uh, you know, I think he should, but I don't think he does. I think he's indifferent about it. You know, who isn't indifferent about it? Mystera. Okay, is that... Oh, sorry. Um... Was that everything? That is everything. Uh, I also have Indus Wall to break stuff down here. Why do that? Um, really no reason, actually. So yeah, if there is something in that secret in that sub dungeon, I don't know what it is, aside from the darkness. Um, no witnesses. You all know me by now, and I am very careful about hiding my tracks. Um, we'll go home with some unstoppable fury. Oh wait. Sword. I did not buy the helmet. It's fine, it's fine. Um, the sword's actually worth a lot of money. I mean, I'll get half of the money back for taking it back. So, if there's something to get rid of, it's probably the Indus Wall. And I'm just checking for Secret Seven Dungeons one last time. Who are you? Oh, Mystera, okay. What an interesting pairing. Who is this? Oh, okay. So, we'll recycle in this wall. We'll recycle in this wall. And we'll pick up the... The gloats. Or whatever that is. Tarog's helm. And we will go home with Unstoppable Fury. Alright. Okay. Uh, 300 gil, or gold... <laughs> Money's pretty good. Uh, 429. Deep freeze. Face of the might of our kingdom's ministry, the undead army has been forced into retreat. A decree has been made to send our heroes further in the icy wastes and learn more about where this scourge comes from. The dead should stay dead. Agreed. And monks will do that to you. Trophy sold. You sold the vampire fangs with 300 gold. Um, okay, so every time you get them it's 300 gold but then it goes down by 10. I could have sworn there was something where they go back up but maybe that's not the case. I don't know. Maybe this just keeps you from playing the same areas too often. Quest unlocked. Cult of Personality. An old-fashioned death cult hides out in the frozen tundra. Their monastery conceals the entrance to a great underground city and just so happens that our kingdom's heroes need to get through. Defeat the creeper that cultists. Hold on. Death cult? So what's this? Just beat the dungeon. And then you'll get yet yeah, another dungeon. All right, all right, okay. Uh, that's pretty great to me. Um, we're at the maximum money again, and I don't get the option to upgrade the bank yet. Where do you do that, Cappy? Uh, well, you have to do something with like Venture Cave, I think. Right? I could have sworn there was something you get a reward of a bigger vault. And I want to say it had something to do with, uh... Not Hobbler's Hold, but, uh, either Den of Danger. Oh, that's a lot of money, to be honest. Or was it Venture Cave? That's only 500 gold, that's only 350 gold. No, um... It must be some... You know, it probably is. It probably is. What, what are you saying, Cappy? I'm saying that I think it is Den of Danger or Venture Cave. You just have to beat these quests first. And we don't even have Warlord to try it out yet. So, um, we'll get to the 2,000 gold uh, cap here soon, but uh, we'll need to spend some of it so I don't waste any. Uh, Mage Tower or the Fighter Camp. Where is that? Oh, right. Warlord. That's 2,000... How am I going to do that? That's, like, impossible. Oh, okay. It's just all the, uh... The fighter things. Okay, I see. I get it. So... Oh, okay, yeah. If you read, Cappy, the bankers are growing restless. They claim that their money vault is not large enough to fuel this more powerful financial mantic rituals. 
The, they seek a newer, bigger vault, and they're willing to pay us handsomely to clear a dungeon for conversion. Kill everything in the Venture Cave. Petrification not permitted against level 8 or higher. Okay, so just get unstoppable. You'll get 500 gold. So this is how we get a bigger money bin, and we can definitely do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get all of our things to level 2. I think this is our next one. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> The mystics of this tower regularly enjoy exploding things in the name of progress. It's jolly good fun between sessions of serious arcane in investigation. So now we got sorcerer. And, uh, goats. Right, an infallible kingdom administrator. The recent wizard's tower expansions had unforeseen consequences. In the process of relocating the menagerie magic to a higher floor, we've inadvertently allowed several hundred thousand magically enchanted goats to escape into the wilds. Experiments of an undisclosed nature have apparently rendered the goats somewhat magic resistant and even more homicidal than usual. You made goats worse? How many escapes? I mean, you know, it's just it's just the Tower of Magic guys. They're gonna do things. I have, you know, that's the that's the grand uh, plot twist is that they did it under my uh, administration's uh, approval. So, um, I knew about this the whole time, in fact. I just want to know how many escaped exactly. But we got Sorcerer now. And uh, now we can have a Flame Magnet and Fear Glyphs or Extra Glyphs. Why would you have Fear Glyphs? Well, you get one less Glyph, but the Glyphs that you do get give you even more points. And the math works out that you get more points than you normally would have gotten if you convert all your Glyphs. Okay, so... Oh, well, I used Death Protection. I just didn't use it by using it. Okay, so next time future Captain Thief, which actually, I think I might do this sooner rather than later. Please remember to uh, do this quest specifically. What's a money bin? Beat that. 500 gold will be yours and a larger vault, which I really need in order to get the upgrade things. So I got Church Level 2, I got Thief Den Level 2, I got Mage Star Level 2, and I got Guild Level 2. There's a few more buildings, but, you know, not just yet. Goats. Okay. Oh, and I need 3,000 to do this, so we'll get to that when we get to that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Cap Thief playing Desktop Dungeons Rewind. It's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's, 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 it's uh, the same great game you love. Looks a little prettier. Uh, in my opinion, I kind of like having their zoom out thing. So, uh, but hey, if you want to, you can zoom way, way in and stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye.